Over 55 communities in the Phoenix area are just for old people. Wait, those guys are my age. Cut, we can edit that part out, right? <laughs> Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of the over 55 communities here in the Valley of the Sun. And there are a variety of over 55 communities, anywhere from what I will call economical to um, luxury. And uh, just about anywhere down here you can find a community. Uh, one of the, if we start out with what I call economical, and this is, these are communities that are very popular with people from Canada and the Midwest who just come down here for the winter. Um, you can get into very low end, um, over 55 mobile home parks and find a park that's got a clubhouse and a pool and some activities and get in relatively cheap, have a lease payment that's maybe around between six and $700 a month on your lot. And then you can get into some really nice ones where they've got uh, these park models and mod and uh, manufactured homes, some as low as 399 square feet on up to 1,100 square feet, just right for a couple. And uh, anywhere from, I want to say, $80,000 to about $190,000. And again, it's on leased land. So your lease is going to go anywhere from six fifty dollars to eight fifty, dollars depending on the amenities. Some of these parks uh, where people come down just to spend the winter are very nice. Um, people sit out on their, their porch in their uh, park model and, you know, you walk down the street, you drive down the street in your golf cart and it's like a parade. Everybody's waving to you, they their glass of wine. Everybody buzzes around in a golf cart because you're just going to go from your park model down to the, to the main clubhouse. And the clubhouses are big. The restaurants are really good. They have pickleball, swimming, and golf. So they're very popular. So um, and they can be found just about anywhere, particularly in the East Valley. Now, if you get into some over 55 communities, um, one of the biggest ones down here, down in the Southeast Valley and uh, south of Chandler is called Sun Lakes. And it's a ropes in community. And uh, they had three phases, phase one, two, phase three. Phase one is the older one where they began. And most of those are uh, mobile homes or manufactured homes that start in the low 200s. And uh, you own your lot, though. So it's unlike the other parks I was telling you about where you're on lease land. In Sun Lakes, you own your lot. You get into phase two, which is in the middle, and you're going to see a variety of homes, anywhere from attached patio homes with golf course views to regular single-family residences. And then you get over to phase three, and the homes are kind of about the same, little bit more of, uh, um, you know, single family homes versus patio homes. You go even further east, you get into a gated community within Sun Lakes. And the same with just one street north of Sun Lakes. You have gated communities with much higher end homes and primarily homes that where people stay year round. Now, in a lot of these communities, uh, one of the pitfalls is if you are staying year round, let's say you're in phase two, um, in the summertime, you have no neighbors. They've all bugged out. It's too hot. They're only coming down for the winter and then they're taking off. In the wintertime, it's a lot of fun. The restaurants are great. The amenities are fantastic. The golf is good if you like to golf. The um, homes can be kind of unusual. At one point in Sun Lakes, you, they didn't allow you to put up fences. But it, so if you had a small dog, that was kind of a hindrance. Now they allow you to have fences, but they can't be more than four feet tall because they want to build a sense of community. They want neighbors to talk to each other. And, and that's kind of nice, but and it keeps your little dog in. The other pitfall is all of these communities have, you know, they always have an HOA transfer fee and they have an HOA fee. And the HOA fee is higher than what you're going to see like in a normal neighborhood, but you're paying for access to the clubhouse and, um, and uh, um, golf, you know, and you got to buy a separate golf membership in some of these areas. But they have what's called a capital improvement fee paid only by the buyers. And it's hefty. It could be up as between four and five thousand dollars. Now, what's a capital improvement fee? Well, because I mentioned there's a lot of amenities, there's big clubhouses, there's big fitness centers, there's pools, there's a lot of um Oh, what do I say? A lot of uh, 
um, stuff that has to be maintained. I guess what I'm trying to spit out. And so they don't want to get in the situation where they're doing special assessments for all the homeowners, you know, saying, hey, by, you know, by December, we need to assess you all $2,000 because our fitness center needs a new roof. So because there's so much turnover in the over 55 communities, people buying and selling all the time, they've attached these capital improvement fees to help fund that reserve account. So it's a big hit up front, but it's nice to know that you're not going to get all that uh, risk of getting a special assessment down the road, and it helps them maintain their HOA fee. And part of the HOA fee in some of the over 55 uh, communities that you are is for a, a guarded uh, entry gate uh, to your community. So there are some expenses that you see uh, that may affect your HOA payment. Now, there's also um, some over 55 communities up in the Northwest Valley, Sun City, Sun City West, Sun City Fiesta. All of them offer a variety of neighborhoods. Uh, Sun City is the oldest of the three that I just mentioned. A lot of uh, connected patio homes, smaller homes, 900, 1100 square feet, uh, range anywhere from 275 on up. And then you can go to Sun City West. It's a little higher end. Uh, you can find some beautiful homes up there. And Sun City Fiesta, uh, has an amazing clubhouse and restaurant and recreation area and pool area. And so if you are looking at over 55 communities, I highly recommend checking that one out, along with Trilogy down in Gilbert. Now, some of the yards at Trilogy and Gilbert, don't again, don't have any fences. So you're sharing, you're sitting out in your backyard and just looking at your neighbor, hello. Um, so, you know, if that's not for you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't care for that. And then there is a sprinkling, like I say, of over 55 parks all over the valley. Um, there is some risk there and the risk is if you get into an older park and you're surrounded by trailers that are built in the 60s and 70s um, there's a risk that a developer is going to come in and just scoop up that land they're already doing it at one um, up Indian school towards central Phoenix because the land's really popular and they want to build you know apartments or condominiums so you're sitting there in your trailer and you get a 60-day notice you got to move but your trailer's too old to move they're kind of stuck so there's uh, they're trying to have some litigation there but I don't see how they're going to win you're on leased property so the other risk is uh, you may be in an area where you've got a lease payment that's 650 and there's been some examples where the new property management com company comes in and goes uh, that's going to be a thousand dollars now uh uh, in 60 days and so that's a real jolt to you so if you are a vacationer you're coming down for the winter time to get in some of these nicer parks that's highly unlikely that they're going to jack your rate up or they're going to purchase the land out from underneath you there are also some of these over 55 communities there's one down on the mesa gilbert border i can't remember the name of it it's absolutely beautiful um, and they have park models in the center of the uh, uh, development and then off to the east in a separate section they've got a section for uh, travel trailers and fifth wheels for winter visitors and they're still a part of the community but they're off in the corner so your park model is not parked next to a, a big fifth wheel so and in the winter time and all the winter visitors here there's just no end to the activity so if you're an active person there is a lot to do in these communities so if you're considering looking at anything in the over 55 communities and you have any questions shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com don't forget to subscribe thanks